Hello and welcome to Two Minute Design. I think I'm Dage and today we're gonna bring our painting to life. I've opened this painting here in Photoshop and I'm gonna go to image, image size and change its width to 1920 pixels just to have a smaller file to work with. Now let's activate the rectangular marquee tool and create a selection around these lines on top. Hit Ctrl or Command J to create a new layer out of these pixels. Now let's activate the background layer and then choose the quick selection tool. If you can't find it, then simply left click and hold and there it is. If you still can't find it, then make sure you're using Photoshop, not Paint or Notepad. Now here in the options bar, make sure the first option here is selected and let's select all the background lines. I have a whole video on how to use the quick selection tool, so go ahead and watch it if you don't know how to use it. I'm just clicking and dragging. And then you can hold down the Alt or Option key to deselect the parts that you don't need. Now activate the top layer and click this button to create a layer mask. We don't want the mask to move with the layer, so let's click this icon between the layer pixels and the mask. And now they're unlinked. Make sure you click to activate the layer itself and then hit Ctrl or Command T to free transform. Drag the bottom edge down, you may need to hold down the shift key to be able to stretch it. Then drag the top edge up and then hit enter to confirm. Now in the layers panel, change the blending mode to something you like. For this example, I'll use soft light. Okay, let's go to window, timeline. Make sure create video timeline is selected and click this button. Drag the playhead to the first frame, click on this arrow and then click on the watch next to position to create a keyframe. Drag the playhead to the end of the timeline and with the move tool, drag the layer down while holding the shift key until the top edge snaps to the top of the background. Now if you drag the playhead, you can see the layer moving and you can hit the space bar to preview the animation. If you think the mask is a little bit hard, simply activate it from the layers panel, go to the properties panel and increase the feather a little bit. When you finish, you can either go to file, export, save for web, choose gif from this drop down menu, set the looping options to forever and click save or go to file, export, Render video, choose whatever format you want, and then hit render. 